Hey, it's Evan. Welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to make a quick PSA about these Astron power supplies. And before I say anything, I fully endorse Astron power supplies. They make great stuff uh, that uh, holds up for many years. I believe this power supply has actually been running for 15 years. Um, and I got it off an estate uh, with uh, some other equipment. So um, it, they are just amazing. Um, so many amateur radio operators use these. And that's why I'm making this video today. Um, I was working at my desk and I kicked this thing with my leg um, and I saw smoke just start pouring out of this unit along with sparks coming from the bottom. Um, and I know exactly what happened and that's why I'm going to make this video. So yeah, it's pretty simple to understand what happened here. There's a cable for the power that comes in here and goes through the transformer's primary winding. Then in the secondary winding, that's where the voltage is stepped down, and it goes to these two posts here. Then it goes through some voltage smoothing and, um, and protection circuitry along with the rectifier that turns this thing into DC. Um, and then it goes to the DC outputs on the back here. Now, what I didn't know about was these two posts here, because I never looked at the bottom of this unit. These um, posts are fully exposed on the bottom, and they are insulated from the chassis, but they are fully exposed. So, what happened was, is that, um, you can see, uh, I had a short to that. And I'll tell you what shorted out. It's one of these, those copper um, ground strips, uh, the braided uh, ground cables. I use these on my equipment to ground them. And I had an extra one that was still on my ground bus hanging underneath my desk, and it slipped under here. Um, it wasn't this exact cable. Uh, this is just an example one I pulled. Um, but... Um, what happened was is that's ground that's connected to the ground and this is of course the positive rail I believe and um, It caused a dead short now all the protection circuitry is over here So it's after the transformer because it's meant to be protection for these but I will tell you uh, this um, my radio has a 25 amp fuse on the positive and negative and it's a Yaesu FT991. The 25 amp fuse on that radio blew. So this protection circuitry uh, didn't protect it because it was uh, before, or no, this circuit was after these posts here. So what I recommend to anyone who owns one of these power supplies is get a marine grade vinyl sticker or a vinyl sheet and put it over these posts here. Don't cover the whole bottom because you still need grounding and ventilation, but uh, just cover this up. Um, even if it's just a, a few strips of duct tape, um, just something to keep this insulated because this could have been much worse if I didn't, uh, turn it off as fast as I did. It could have ended up in a whole fire, but, um, I mean, there was just smoke, thick smoke, thicker than a fog machine smoke pouring out of this unit. So again, I, I fully endorse these units. This is partly user, user error. It's also partly a, a design error with, uh, those posts, uh, being exposed, um, so, uh, I just wanted to make this, uh, quick, uh, PSA to any amateur radio operators who might own these, um, as that was, uh, something that kind of scared me the other day. So, appreciate you watching, and, um, share this video with, uh, any other amateur radio operators you know in the community who, uh, own one of these, and, um, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.